Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been it's been a minute. I took a much needed break. I think it's been like over two months and let me tell you, I needed it. Also, I moved from Albuquerque to Santa Fe. Yay! It's been amazing. I love it here. Um, actually, we love it here. This is Jan. He's my boyfriend of five years now and he's an incredible person and I love him very much. So some of the things that led to our decision of moving to Santa Fe from Albuquerque, um, it really happened because of money. From one of my earlier videos, I highlighted the pros and cons of living in Albuquerque and I think one of the biggest things for me and for Jan as well was the cost of living. We came from Denver, Colorado, where pff, I don't even want to imagine how much it costs to live there. Miss it. Love Denver. But anyways, that was ultimately our decision as to why we moved to Albuquerque, and it was because we were able to afford a lifestyle while also pursuing creative stuff. Back in 2019, we were able to get a two-bedroom apartment in Albuquerque with a washer and dryer set, a patio, and a gated community. Not that it really matters much in Albuquerque, but that's, that's another story. Anyways, we were incredibly lucky, and we secured that apartment for a little bit over $700 a month. We ended up living in Albuquerque in that same apartment for, so for about three years. And every year the rent rose a little bit until this past year. Um, and that's really what launched our desire to move out of there. We went from paying 800 and something dollars to... 1500. No, we did not pay that. That's how much the rent was going to rise for that apartment. And we said no. Ironically, Santa Fe, which is an hour north of Albuquerque, it is now equivalent in rent to what Albuquerque is with better services, prettier apartments, better community, and in my opinion, just a better fit. So I wanted to make a video about the observations that I have made while living here in Santa Fe, New Mexico in the past two months. Like I mentioned, the rent and cost of living is pretty much equivalent to that of Albuquerque. It used to be that Santa Fe was a lot more expensive with rent and housing here. So that was my observation is that now you can find an apartment here in Santa Fe for about $1,400, $1,500. That's cleaner, uh, that's updated, that has extra things um, compared to an apartment that you would find in Albuquerque. And also um, you can find one here at in a much nicer neighborhood. On the other hand, Santa Fe still lacks a lot of homes that are available and housing is pretty competitive, even with apartments. There's not a lot of apartments that you can choose from versus Albuquerque, even though in the past year, Albuquerque was lacking a lot of housing. Um, one of the reasons was because a lot of people were moving in from other states and towns and nearby. So the demand for housing, it really rose and that was why they were able to get away with charging as much as they're charging for these apartments. One really nice thing about Santa Fe is that it's, it feels like a, almost like a small town, but it has a downtown, it has a bigger layout than what a small town would be. But with that, it, it does have this feel of being a small town with a small community and everybody here that is a local knows everybody. And it can be a really nice thing if you are looking for a community at the same time if you are someone who's living here and you hang out with the same community and everybody knows everybody, they're also gonna know your business. Santa Fe is still a very retirement-friendly community. 
So there are a lot of retired people who live here who are elderly and not so elderly. The ratio of the demographics of age is kind of majority elderly people and then the rest is a small population or demographic of younger people. This isn't a bad thing because it is more laid back, people are friendly, but on the other hand, if you are a young person or even a person who is single, I have observed and heard from others that dating, for example, can be kind of a challenge here. I can imagine, and thank goodness, <laughs> I am in a relationship, but I can imagine kind of going through a rotation of the same people that you might have dated, and that can be kind of an issue if you are looking to settle down and you don't really have a big pick of a demographic. On the other hand, if you are happily married or with a partner, this can be a really exciting place to be in because you don't have to worry about that and you can just focus on making friends and sharing with the community and yada yada. Another thing about being in a community that is majority elderly retired is that Santa Fe tends to shut down pretty early. You will not find a place that is open past midnight. It would be rare. There are no nightclubs and therefore there is not much of a night life. You can still catch a show, uh, fabulous flamenco community. If you're into that, you could maybe stumble upon live music. Uh, you can go get a cocktail somewhere but you're not going to be able to find live music, dancing, anything like that as you would in Albuquerque or in another place. It just, it's a very sleepy place that has a bedtime. And I find that kind of annoying because I am somebody that loves to go and have the option to socialize. I love dancing. I love just socially gathering and drinking. Um, I love live music and it's pretty hard to find that here and I think it's also hard especially post pandemic because not everything has gone back to how it was but either way if you're looking for a nightlife this is not going to be the place for you. Santa Fe is such an artistic town. It is full of creatives, whether you're looking for art galleries, which there are over 250 of them, museums, writing, film and TV, opera, dancing, you name it. Santa Fe has it all. It is truly an art haven. And it's probably, besides cost of living, the biggest reason why we moved here is because as you know, I'm in film and TV, but I'm also expanding into writing again and getting involved in art and doing anything else that's fulfilling my creative soul. And this is the place to be. If you are somebody that's in the film and TV industry, Santa Fe has so much going on. There are studios here and a lot of times when people come in productions from other towns or cities, LA, they come in and they tend to film a lot of things right here in Santa Fe or outside of Santa Fe. So whether, you know, you had to make a decision of living in Albuquerque or Santa Fe, I would say come here because everything is closer and there's just more happening here outside or in Santa Fe. And it's absolutely fabulous. Meow Wolf is here, George R. R. Martin lives here, um, and it's such a small community, like I said, that eventually you're, you're gonna run into everybody and if you are looking to network with people, this is the place to be. Santa Fe is so old. It was founded as a Spanish colony in 1610. It has so much history. A lot of it bloody, bad, sad, but a lot of it just important. If you're somebody that also enjoys being in a place that's historic, buildings are historic, um, the energy is just so old, this is the place to be. It never ceases to amaze me how old this city is and how much has happened here, whether it's good or bad. 
it just is. You could be walking in downtown and just be walking in front of a place that was built in the 1600s or driving through a really narrow street that's still the original street planning of the day, back in the day. You could be stumbling into just so many different homes that are still original structures. It's just amazing. Another part that just really excites me about Santa Fe is preserves the Hispanic and native culture. This is a place that I have felt so at home in. Does that make sense? So at home in? You get what I'm saying. And I love it. I love everything about it. If you <laughs> are looking for tamales, you got tamales. If you're looking for mole, if you're looking for menudo, pozole, any other type of cuisine that is dear and true to your heritage, this is the place to be. Which brings me to my other point that Santa Fe is a gem among gems when it comes to food and um, cocktails. Just the, the food scene here. It's very, very good and it's growing. And if you're somebody that is in into cuisine and in that industry, this is the place to be if you have a really good idea and you want to make a name for yourself. There's still so much that's happening here and that's new that you can come here and, and if you have amazing food or an amazing concept for a restaurant or coffee shop or cocktail bar, you will, you will succeed. It's such a great time for people who are into that to be here because there's so much that's still new and developing and it's a canvas, honestly. The weather is also pleasant. Yes, it snows, but there's so much sunshine, more than 300 days of sunshine in the year. But with that being said, there are snow days, there are low temperatures in winter time, that could be anywhere from December to like early March. There is a lot of dust and you do still have to wear sunblock because there's not a lot of clouds. And um, even then, I mean clouds or no clouds, there is a chance that you will get more damage to your skin if you don't take care of it. But Santa Fe has mountains, It's it's, it's got hiking trails, it has so much. If you are looking for outdoor adventure, there's so much to do here and there's natural hot springs and spas and anything that you can really think of, it's got. And unlike Albuquerque, Santa Fe is always gonna be a lot cooler in the summertime. If anybody has spent summers in Albuquerque, like I have, it can be really disgusting. It could even be detrimental to your health if you're somebody that doesn't do well in extreme hot weather, dry weather. So that's good news for people like me and people who just cannot bear with so much dryness and heat. There's so many jobs in the hospitality industry because this is tourism and with tourism is hospitality. Santa Fe has so many jobs, so much that people here complain about not finding enough workers to to help them. And it's known that there's just a shortage in workers. So that's good news if you are somebody who is a creative person or somebody who is trying to get into another industry. You can always find a job at a restaurant doing anything or at one of the other tourist hospitality industry places. And in my experience, Santa Fe pays a lot more than surrounding places like Albuquerque and a lot of it has to do with the cost of living and just how much tourism happens here in Santa Fe, especially when it is the season of tourism. There is a slow season, um, which is happening right now, but other than that, it's, it's a great place to work. I recently went back to part-time bartending, um, which is a little bit of excitement and anxiety. I am truly enjoying my experience. Um, I'm glad that I am doing it here in Santa Fe because there's so much happening and I'm learning so much and also I'm getting paid more 
versus if I would have done that in Albuquerque, it would have been a hit or miss um, with missing. Missing money. Yeah, I would not have been making that much money, I don't think. And then lastly, if you're somebody who has kids um, or someone who's also looking to further their education, unfortunately, Santa Fe just does not have very good public schooling. Public education ugh, is pretty bad. So if you are someone who has kids, who um, is looking to move here, relocate or whatever, eh, you can look into private schooling or if you, you know, homeschool, that's better. But public school system here is not very good. Boo. Well, that's about it. Um, I wanted to just keep you posted on what I've been up to. I really did need a break and I am so glad that I took it because I was really burnt out. Yada, yada, yada. I've been reading a lot. I've been working on my blog. I've been working on starting up a podcast with Jian, and I'm so excited for you guys to meet him because he's really funny. And I'll be back with more content. All right, bye.